So I was in Yuga, Isha Yoga Center for full day and I went there out of curiosity, you know, what is going on there, you know, exactly. So in a Isha Yoga Center, there is a huge uh, Adi Yogi statue, uh, like uh, built beautifully. The best thing I liked is sound and light show, which I find very way better than uh, in Singapore light and you know sound and light show which is which cost a lot also here is completely free free of charge plus uh, it's really very well maintained like on time they will start they this volunteer of Isha Yoga Centers uh, like Isha Foundation so like a uh, time management is very nice you know perfectly on time they will start Maybe because of this time management, they got success, you know, like they are still progressing. So, that that the best thing I liked in Isha Yoga Center. Next is Isha Yoga, like as you go inside, there is a Naga, Naga Pratishta, something is there, in Indian Cobra, related to Indian Cobra. Then, is, then there is a, uh, there is a three different uh, Shiva Lingas inside the pond. There you have to, there I went uh, like uh, paying 20 rupees to dip in that. So I did for two times. So I dipped in there, you can touch the idols of this like uh, Lingas, three Lingas. Uh, this Kunda, Kunda is called as a Kunda. There is a female for males and females very different Kunda. Chandra Kunda is for me females. This Kunda is for male. So Surya Kunda is called as Surya Kunda. So in Surya Kunda, they charge 20 rupees for a dip. They will provide you one uh, kind of very thick lungi, you know, very short and thick lungi. You have to remove all the dresses like including underwear. Then you have to take a shower then enter in there so you can touch the lingas and come out the the water was a bit freezing cold not like himalayas but bit it was a bit cold compared to uh, the local temperature then there is a linga bhairavi and there is a dhyana linga second thing i liked is a dhyana linga very very huge linga and inside the like a meditation dome like in um, vipassana and all they make like buddhist like a uh, temple like like this meditation center and very uh, echoing like when you talk it will echo so there they uh, operate like a uh, there are some speaker they uh, like play very uh, soft music with the like a very crystal clear speaker they are like boost you may know it the brand boost very expensive and uh, that was like another experience like people go there sit there for 15 minutes around 12 12 15 they have special kind of ritual so then outside there are restaurants you can have food as af just after entry in a risha foundation there is one restaurant which is very cheap like for 50 rupees they will give you mini meal is called as a mini meal but is, it was very heavy three different rice they will provide like curd rice and some flour kind of and another rice like uh, rice with the rasam so this uh, like uh, this cost us 50 rupees but it was very filling super filling you know so you, outside of the isha yoga center there are many restaurants and all it's very commercialized and uh, very expensive also uh, this was very nice. Even inside that, near uh, Dhyana Linga and all, there are other restaurants. It's for uh, like a high five people. If you are like foreigners and all, they have juice or something, you know, different things. Not like normally, like a Indian or South Indian food available there. Only juice, something like that. So there is an organic clothes shop and all. It's, it's very super expensive, not for common man, you know, like uh, it will cost 800, 1000, 500, 2000, 3000, more than that, like. Uh, cost for a, a specific cloth um, overall I like the sound and uh, light show and uh, Dhyana Linga a bit but there was no vibration like I felt in uh, uh, like Ramana Maharshi Ashram there is a on uh, just after Ramana Maharshi Ashram there is a way to go upside the hill 
where Ramana Maharshi meditated for seven years. So uh, there is a two room. One one room is where Ramana Maharshi meditated. Another room is uh, like where uh, his mother used to cook food for him. So when I entered this uh, Ramana Maharshi's mother's room, where she used to cook food, I felt so much energy there and uh, like uh, went beyond body and mind. You know, very peaceful state automatically without meditating. That that place I felt very way better than um, Isha Yoga Center. You know, like. This this Isha Yoga Center I felt felt like very commercialized and uh, many people told me also this Isha Yoga Center is not for you <laughs> because they know me you know people who know me they recommended like some foreigners and all so who already visited they told you told me that uh, Isha Yoga is not for me still I went because my son wanted to go to that um, Wonderella water park so I thought let's visit Isha Yoga Center also. So this was a very nice, good experience. Like, uh, but very much commercialized thing, you know. Like for uh, people who want, uh, uh, like a presentation. So he's he is very good in presentation, like proper English. Well, like look like a monk, or like a presentation is all about nowadays. His presentation is very important, you know, like properly. So in spirituality. If you go to like Rishikesh or beyond, like Kedarnath, or if you go to Himalayas, you will see, you will find a monk who are very, very much uh, like uh, you will feel their energy when you go nearby them or something. So they don't know; they were not more into presentation. They live in very simple state. They are not in like uh, presenting anything. They want anything in from you or anything. They are happy in whatever they have and. They are living their life happily. So this Sadhguru is like uh, he is into world, you know, normal world. So presentation is I am not saying he is wrong. He have to present properly, otherwise people may not like him, you know, properly groomed, like properly maintained beard, and like that. That ashram is also properly well timed, like time management. Like even volunteers are trained in that way. Like they are like welcoming you. Like you are going in proper hotel where they there are some where in there they will they will they are holding some board uh, mentioning that you have to keep silence like that. So there are some volunteer tell you to go here and all politely. So very well managed uh, ashram I can say. So if you are around Koyamuthu, this is a major attraction in Koyamuthu. This became a major attraction. If you are really interested in visiting Isha Yoga Center, I recommend you to wait for 7 p.m. That sound and light show. It's very worth visiting. You know, the Sadguru also telling, like he will explain about Shiva and the sound and light show. Even kids will like it. Super, uh, like uh, worth visiting and it's like um, completely free of cost. So there are direct bus from Coimbatore railway station. Uh, you can go from uh, Coimbatore station directly. Isha, you can ask anyone; they will help you. Thanks for watching. If you have any experience in Isha Yoga Center, or if you want to share anything with me, please post it in comment. And I am very active in inst Instagram also. I post travel pictures and whatever you know, very common like personal life stories. Wherever I travel, I take pictures and all. I post over there in on Instagram. It's like a family thing, you know. Like you can even contact me on Instagram. It's like a Hari Om Pajaka on Instagram. I have already mentioned before this video. You can even follow me there. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch. Subscribe this channel and keep in touch. Namaste.